correct? And um, Madurai Kamarajan University. She is, uh, uh, if I still remember, she has taken up finance and done a lot of uh, process with the Deloitte. Then she changed to HR and she came back to HR. And now she's working in a company called Tenor Global Solutions, Bangalore Assistant Manager. Welcome, Cheryl. Uh, it's, uh, I, I guess you'll have to talk about yourself more and the process which you got through or went through the entire uh, campus. In fact, uh, your profile is so big, it takes about one hour and the Zoom session or the Cisco session will be over. Okay, so um, uh, she is one girl where I have uh, counseled, guided all through her life and I guess um, uh, she was an excellent student. Okay, and um, uh, participants, you can expect a lot because she has taken finance and uh, she shifted from finance to HR today. Okay, I guess the last time when I was speaking to you about specialization, I was telling the same thing to you about why, how exactly your specialization works and uh, what could be the major changes. Okay, and some of the competencies are uh, talent acquisition. You can please catch hold of her for your placements, policies and process management, vendor management, learning and culture, audit and compliance. She's excellent in all that. And uh, she is also good in functional, uh, technical and functional hires like cyber risk, uh, cyber fusion, tech centers, active and passive so sourcing, L&D performance management, CRM and recruitment hiring. Welcome, Cheryl. It goes on on and on. So welcome. You can start your session today. I'll, I'll mute my audio as well as video. Mm -hmm. Let me, uh, hi people, um, how are you all? I'm sure, uh, you know, Corona pandemic is actually changing. You know, I think this is the biggest break anyone could ever imagine or get. Am I right? Hello? Yes, yes, and no. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, this session will be more of a uh, uh, interactive session. I will just not be going through the slides. Because I just have to explain a few things. What I'm going to do is I will make it more uh, interactive, where uh, y'all can I can actually talk to y'all and y'all can actually you know respond to me. If y'all have any questions, y'all can also ask me. Yeah, does it sound good? Yes. Okay. So uh, I'm sure we have a lot of today's topic that we will be discussing. So, Hello? Hello? Uh, Cheryl, you're barely audible. We can't hear you at all. Oh. You have not, you put your earphone and increase your volume, Cheryl. Yes, sir. Doing that to me. Put, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now? No, even now it is low. Yeah, my phone is on. Now? Yeah. Better, but still low. Uh, I okay. guess you should increase maybe, the computer maybe I'll volume. Speak a little. Uh, now, I'll now speak it is a okay. Little louder? Uh, yeah, it is okay. Yeah, now. yeah. 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 Cheryl, if you're using the earphones, uh, you'll have to hold the microphone closer. Probably. Yeah, that yeah, be. I did that. I did that. Put it inside your mouth so that it'll be easy. Uh, not yeah. inside. I okay, Srinath, yes. Ashwat, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, hi. So, I, as uh, uh, Murli sir has already introduced me, I'm from a batch uh, 2008 to 10. And yes, I did take up. Uh, uh, finance was my major uh, majors in my uh, during my MBA days, but HR was mind. always my um, uh, interest, uh, you know, focus. Uh, so yes, as Murli sir said. Uh, Sherry, sorry to interrupt you. Your voice is not audible. Please. Huh? Your voice is not audible. Even now, ma'am. Uh, still, now it's okay, but still you have to. I think you have to adjust your mic. Just give me no, 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 no. Now, ma'am? 
No, dear. Can't hear me at all. No. Ah, no? little bit better. Better. Okay. Okay. Then uh, let's quickly start with the topic that we are about to discuss today. Hello. 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 Now it's very clear. Now this is this okay. holds good. Yeah, this holds okay. good. Okay. Go ahead. So let's continue. Yeah. Continue. Okay, sir. So let me start, um, like you know, introducing uh, the topic that we are going to discuss today. So um, I'm sure due to due to the COVID pandemic, we are all a little bit stressed, or maybe you know we are more stressed about our job security and uh, all of this. So today, the topic that I've picked up to discuss with you all is stress management. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, let me quickly share my screen so that, um, you know, we can have, I can take you through the PPT. Are you able to see my screen? Yeah, we are. We can see the screen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, sir. Um, so we are starting off with the stress management. So, um, can I know what is stress management according to you all? Can anyone tell me what stress management is? Or basically, let's say uh, in a simpler term, what is stress? See, stress is something that, you know, things don't go on as what you expect. That is when the tension builds up. Okay. Can I know who said that? Name, please. Professor Srinivas. Oh, hello, sir. Hey. That <laughs> So, okay, see, um, stress uh, basically has different terminologies. If you see, uh, according to a medical definition of stress, it is a medical or biological context. It is actually, a, a, you know, stress is a physical, mental, or emotional factor that causes by, uh, bodily or mental tension. We face this on a day-to-day -day basis, don't we? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So the contents for today that we are going to go through is, we will be uh, going through the introduction of stress. What are the types of stress? <laughs> introduction of stress management. What's the body's physical response to stress? How are we supposed to be responding to stress? Effects and example of stressors. What are the sources of stress? How do we deal with stress? And what are the signs and symptoms of stress? Yeah. Now, um, there are, as I told you, there are different definitions of stress. So, so the few definitions of stress are. So the word stress was originally used by Selby in 1956 to describe the pleasure experienced by a person in response to life demands. These demands are referred to as stressors. The process that we go through is known as stressors. Now, the various definition uh, are stress is often termed as a 20th century syndrome. 
both uh, prone out of man's hands towards modern robbers and its ensuing complex disciplines. In other, in other words, stress is considered to be uh, to the process of adjusting to circumstances that disrupt or threaten to disrupt a person's equilibrium. So different people have different um, units or definitions of stress. Okay, so stress can be both external and internal. When we say external factors, these are the stress that we experience from the environment or social situations. Now, for example, loss of a job. Loss of that increases us. Yeah, that loss of a job. That increases our stress level. Now, let's say there is an increase in our financial obligation. That again is the external stress. These are caused due to the situations around us. Yeah. And when it comes to internal stress, these may occur due to the incidents that, uh, like, you know, any illness or from a medical procedure. For example, you might be, um, there might be inability to accept uncertainty. Okay. And uh, you might have um, a lot of negative self talk. You might uh, lack, uh, you know, flexibility. So these are the types of um, um, stress that occur internally. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, so far. Yeah. Okay. So now, stress can have a big impact on our body in bo in ways that are felt by just you. And in a way that the world can see. So there are uh, times when uh, people would be going through stress, but only you can be experiencing it. And maybe the world would not see, or maybe the world will not uh, feel what you are feeling. Or there might be, uh, there are other types of stress where the world can see, or the people around you can see the difference, but you will not uh, know the difference. You will not understand what it is. Yeah. One of the more visible potential byproducts of stress is weight gain. Many people find themselves to be emotional eaters who react to stress by reaching for something, often the wrong thing to eat. We might think at times overeating is uh, okay or it's normal, but we need to understand why are we doing it. Yeah. So stress can also create a loss of appetite. So what are the causes of stress? So these are few of the causes. So uh, the stress levels uh, varies from person to person. What might look as a stress for me may not be a stress for another person. Let's say, for example, work, cleaning might be a stress for me. But in my, it may not be a stress for another person the same way. Uh, kids might be a stress for another person, but it may not be a stress for me. So this completely varies from person to person. Yeah, it is uh, basically uh, very important for us to understand uh, what is stress for us. Okay, so few causes of stress are job insecurity, new workplace culture. Now, when you talk about workplace culture, uh, you might find when we start working on when we are in a MNC or we are in an office, you might feel uh, like, you know, you are there's partiality going on, there's favorism going on. It completely depends on how you see it and how you overcome it. So the culture that we actually have to adapt depends on us. The technology. We think technology has made our life very easy, but it has made our life very complicated. The use of gadgets have uh, spoiled our health. Yeah, I think uh, y'all will accept. I mean, y'all will. Um, what do I say? Mm. We agree you with understand that, what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So a uh, high performance demand. Now here also, this might be personal as well as professional. When you are uh, in an office, when you are working, you are pushed to work more than your capabilities. Or at times we believe that we are capable of only some amount, but we are pushed to, you know, come out of it and work a little more, which might be a stress for everybody. Yeah. 
personal or family problems. Personal or family problems can include like loss of a family member, maybe a, a fight with your siblings or um, your friends, all and bad boss. Bad boss again is uh, like you know it relates to the favoritism. So when we uh, see all these things again, all these depends on person to person how they see it and how they overcome it. Yeah. So the what are the types of stress? Can you all understand? I think uh, seeing the picture there, you all can understand what are the two types of stress and what are the difference. Can anyone tell me what do you understand by seeing these these two pictures? Your stress is something that is required for you to accomplish a task and something that's positive. Okay. And distress is a negative emotional state. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, uh, who said that? Uh, Srinivas here. Srinivas, sir. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. You're right, sir. So, basically, you stress is a positive stress. So, which has the following characteristics it motivates or you focuses energy. It is one of a very short term. You feel excited. It improves performance. It's perceived as within our coping abilities. Now, a few examples of you stress are like when you make new friends, you get excited. You, it, it, it focuses, you know, it motivates energy. Then when we uh, think about holidays, again, you're excited. It's a positive stress. Watching a scary movie, yeah? Getting a job promotion, or when you begin a job, or uh, riding a roller coaster. So these are uh, the types of stress that gives you positive stress. Yeah, that is actually positive. Now, in contrast, distress or negative stress has the following uh, characteristics. It causes anxiety or concern. Yeah, it, it, is, it can be for a shorter period of time or a long term. It feels unpleasant, decreases performance, can lead to mental and physical problems, is perceived as outside of our coping abilities. Now, the examples for distress are your financial problems, divorce, Again, as I said, death of a family member, uh, depression, anxiety, and trouble doing any work. Yeah. So stress performance connection. So stress performance connection is basically the, uh, you know, it shows... Uh, shows that for any performance related activity, there is an optimal amount of stress. Do you all agree with me? Hello? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. When you are in such uh, activities of performance, you will benefit and do better as a result of a certain amount of stress. The stress provides you with focus. The stress gives you competitive edge. Now, if you see lower the stress, higher the performance. Now, uh, the sleep and this uh, disorganization. Sorry. Just give me a minute, please. Yeah. Uh, the lower the um, stress, you're at optimal. When the stress and performance are uh, equal, you're at alert alertness and anxiety. The higher the stress, the lower the performance. That is your sleep and disorganization. Yeah. So uh, the stress helps you think clearly and quickly. Okay. 
So what are the effects of stress? Now, work-related stress can result in high levels of employee turnover. Employees experiencing stress are more likely to make poor decisions and casual errors. Workplace relations, uh, relations and customer service may deteriorate. Yeah. Stress management. Now, when we see stress, uh, stress management, what is the meaning of stress management? Anyone? Hello? 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 Yes, ma'am, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah, so I asked you a question. What, according to you, is stress management? It helps to break the hold of the stress. Mm -hmm. OK, anybody else? OK, no problem. So okay. stress management is a wide spectrum of techniques. And um, psychotherapy is aimed at controlling a person's level of stress. There are a few techniques that you need to follow to uh, reduce your stress. So the techniques that we use to you know, reduce your stress is known as stress management. Yeah? So it, uh, stress management, it actually consists of making changes to your life if you are in a constant stressful situation. Yeah? OK. Uh, next topic is types of stress management. There are a number of stress that um, we have, uh, we can see, like work stress, family stress, chronic stress, acute stress, daily hazards, trauma, and crisis. But to sum up, we can sum up into two types of stress. One is an acute stress, and the second is a chronic stress. So I will be briefing you on both acute stress as well as chronic stress. Yeah. So what is acute stress? Acute stress is usually for a short, uh, short time and may uh, be due to work pressure, meeting deadlines pressure, or minor accident. Increased physical activity, searching something, but you misplaced it, or similar things. These are very short-term um, stress. Symptoms of uh, this type of tension are headache, stomach problems, Rapid uh, heartbeat, muscle aches, or body pain. Yeah? Chronic stress. This type of stress is the most serious of all types. Chronic stress is a prolonged stress that exists for weeks, months, or even for years. This stress is due to poverty, broken or stressed families and marriages, chronic illness and successive failures in life. People, people suffering from this type of stress get used to it and may even not realize that they are under chronic stress. This is very harmful for your health. Yeah? What are the causes of stress? So what do you think might be the causes of stress? Anyone? Anyone can tell me? Seeing the slide, what do you understand is the causes of stress? Hello? Hello? Yeah, see, when you don't sleep well. Sorry? When you don't sleep well, are you? Uh, oh. okay. so, so what do you think you would uh, uh, what would you think is the reason why you don't sleep well 
because of... read the slide just read the slide and let me know what do you understand from what is uh, put on the slide Uh, when heart and mind were, uh, uh, when heart and mind is not going on the same line and we can't accept the what is happening then stress level will be increased correct correct so when you you uh, you you think about one thing but it goes the other way and when your body is not able your mind and body is not able to accept the changes or it is not favorable then we try to defend it we try to convince ourselves saying no what we think is right and what has happened is wrong yeah one such situation will uh, you know can be for a shorter period of time or might increase like you know for a longer time yeah so we we overthink overthinking is one of the causes of stress yeah so uh, there are several causes of stress for example you are under stress when you are worried about something as i said about overthinking when you are worried about your children that your children or you know your routine your education they are aware about yeah worried about the illness of your parents that again is another worry yeah worried about your job security job security right now is uh, Uh, very important because you know you've been seeing the companies sacking people so every every uh, individual will be worried about the job security or again when uh, there's no job security i i i think uh, most of the companies are paying half salary and you might end up losing a job without like any salary so you get worried again about your loans or similar things yeah so body is a physical response to stress so some of the body's physical responses to stress are visible to others okay such as tense muscles skin problems sweating increased heart rate some of the body's physical responses to stress are not visible to others like changes in body's metabolism change in blood pressure usually uh, you know for most people it increases yeah so continued exposure to negative stressors are dangerous it can lead to mental and physical symptoms like aches and pain in the body depression heart palpitations anxiety chest pain etc so since stress is common in our daily lives it is important to know how to deal with it in order to deal with it we must be able to do the following learn to understand what stress is identify common sources of stress practice a positive method of stress reduction on a regular basis avoid negative methods to reduce stress yeah so you can follow a small um, strategy that is an abc strategy to control your stress a stands for awareness b stands for balance and c stands for control so what is awareness what is a stands for it says um, what causes you stress you need to understand what are the reasons behind your stress what is causing you stress second once you get to know what has caused you the stress or what is the what are the causes you need to know how to react to it okay balance next is balance there is a fine line between positive or negative stress you need to know how much you can cope with it with before it becomes negative yeah so when we say how much you can can you cope this actually varies from person to person you actually need to know your limit your ability to tolerate stress depends on many factors like your emotional intelligence genetics general outlook on life and quality of your relationships with family and friends so these are the uh, few things that you need to uh, understand and know what is the uh, where what can you cope up with yeah 
C is for the control. So once you get to know the um, A and B, C stands for what can you do to help yourself combat the negative effects of stress. Yeah, so if you follow this simple strategy of A, B, and C, we will be able to reduce our stress to a good level. Yeah. So uh, let's go to typical responses of stress. So psychologist Connie Lillis uh, describes the three most common responses to stress by comparing it to a driving car. One is foot on the brake. The second is foot on the gas and foot on both. So what does foot on the brake mean? Foot on the brake means a withdrawn or depressed stress response, such as you shut down from people. You don't want uh, people around you. You space out again. You want to be alone most of the times. You have very little energy in your body and you have very little emotion. Okay, so next, foot on the gas. This is an angry or agitated response. So foot on the gas means you suddenly, you know, press down on the accelerator pedal to drive at a higher speed. So, you know, you just put on the accelerator and you just want to go on a high speed. This is an angry or agitated, this is compared to an angry or agitated response. So you are keyed up. You are in a heated state always. You are overly emotional. You are restless. You're not able to sit still. Yeah. And foot on both means a tense and frozen response. You freeze under pressure. Like we say, we, bl we blacked out or we became blank. Yeah. Unable to do anything. Looks paralyzed. Okay. So before we go to the effects and examples of stressors, uh, what do you think is the definition of stressor or what is a stressor? Anyone? Something that causes the stress. Okay. The one okay. Which so it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please go ahead. The one which, the one which pressure us in uh, over way, which we cannot bear. Correct. So these are the internal and external uh, events or situations that creates the potential of stress in us. Okay. So what are the effects of these stressors? It doesn't matter. whether you, your stress is good or bad. Stress continues to add up in your body, correct? If you have enough stress in your life at one time, it will cause wear and tear on your body. The degree of stress and how it impacts you will depend on the following. How much the stressor is in your life, how you view the stressor, correct? So examples of stressors are inability to find things, your upcoming test, grief, screaming kids, loud noises, arguments with families and friends, unfinished work. So these might be few of the things that you know pushes you to uh, to a level, or you know uh, you become a stressor. Yeah. So what are the sources of stress? There are many sources, uh, there are many ways to put stress into categories, but the three important uh, sources of stress are situational, body, and mind. So situational, as we have al already discussed this, is caused by the situation around us or by the environment around us. Yeah. So, um, so such examples are, um, if you are getting ready to take off in an airplane, imagine 
you are uh, praying that you won't need to use the emergency instructions that the flight attendant just explain to the passengers. Yeah, the key understanding of the situational stress, it is happening now. That was your key understanding. Next is your body. It is the stress that results in physical symptoms. Examples include drinking too much alcohol, abusing drugs, exercising too much, people neglecting their bodies, not getting enough sleep, not eating proper nutrition. Now the key understanding to the body um, stress is that it is abuse and neglect. Next, mind. It is caused by seeing life's events in a negative manner. This is a common um, stress. For example, you are reading a book, but you start thinking about something bad that happened earlier in the morning. Yeah, people who mentally worry and think negative thoughts are most likely to have problems with mind stress. Okay. Dealing with stress. So how do you deal with the different types of stress? For situation stress, we always, uh, we should learn how to say a no. We will face a lot of things. We will uh, come through a lot of uh, things in our life where it is very difficult for us to say a no. But we need to learn how to say a no, when to say a no, and communicate the same. If you are uh, disagreeing with something or which it, if you feel what the other person is saying or doing is not what you feel is right, please communicate. Yeah, learn time management skills and learn to delegate to others, Dele uh, delegate to others. Yeah, the next one is the body stress. How do you overcome it? Exercise, practice stretching, do yoga, learn to relax, practice meditation. This will keep your mind and body calm. Mind stress. Now, um, practice mental imaginary or visu visualization. When I say practice um, mental um, imaginary or visualiz visualization is, think, uh, think good things happening around you. You do not see always bad in everything that you see. Learn to see good things. Yeah? Learn to say positive things to yourself when you get stressed. So self-love is the best love. So you need to learn to be positive to yourself. You need to be positive. You know, you need to keep talking positive to yourself first before we think about others. Yeah. So love yourself. We, we might be uh, different. We might be, you know, every person is different. So that does not mean we are not normal. But uh, so, you know, sometimes we might feel the other person is way higher than what we are. But you should also see that, you know, you are way better than the others behind you. So always look at positive things. Always look at positive things that's happening uh, within you, around you. And you need to stay positive. Yeah. So practice meditation or prayer. This, again, will keep you focused. Express your feelings through drawings. Not necessarily just drawings, but uh, anything that is of your interest. So these are the ways that we can um, you know, handle or manage mind stress. Yeah. Now, signs and symptoms of stress. So um, we have uh, cognitive symptoms, we have emotional symptoms, and we have, um, excuse me. Physical symptoms and behavioral symptoms. What are the signs? Now, for cognitive uh, symptoms, the signs are you are always worrying. You have memory problems. Um, only sees the negative side. Poor judgment. Unable to concentrate. These are the few examples of cognitive symptoms. Now, for emo emotional symptoms are avoiding people, feeling depressed, loneliness, short temper, unable to relax. 
um, unable to relax and happy. Okay. Next is the physical symptoms. You get cold, dizziness, nausea, pain, rapid fire, rapid heartbeat, and chest pain. Okay. Next is the behavioral symptoms. Eating less, eating more, biting 